Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so as promised, I am going to play something uh, a little more chill than the Bitch Critters. Uh, I know I just uploaded Traffic, was what, which was really relaxing, but, uh, well, relaxing compared to some heavier games. Um, but my friend recommended this game. Uh, she said that it was... It had a very creepy vibe to it. It wasn't um, the scariest game. It wasn't like Outlast or Amnesia. Uh, it was sort of like a visual novel mixed with atmosphere of horror. She said it was very good. Uh, the game is completely free. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the description. The developers do appreciate donations, but that is all. You don't have to pay for it. You can just download it directly from your computer. and. Um, and yeah, so I, I, I don't know what to expect other than it is a visual novel. So I'll get started, then we'll see where it goes from there. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Um... A woman? Wow, the minute I said I was a woman, then nothing. Jeez. Am I dead? I don't believe I am. You seem very alive to me. Grumbling noises. You have a nice smell. I really should go now. No, stay. Come. Let's see what happens. Go with him. What do you want from me? Shuffling noises. Eat. I'm not hungry. Eat. No. Eat. Okay, okay, I'll eat. I slide the meat away. It's warm, feels gross, and sticky in my hands. Thank him. He is watching you expectantly. Ask what it is. Cook it. Leave it there. Ask what it is. What kind of meat is this? Meat. Cook it. Do you mind if I cook it? Shrugging noises. Then I'll start a fire, alright? That is kind of cool, actually. She was right on. The smell is funny, but I have to say, it's not bad. Offer it to the creature. Do you want to try it? Come on, here, take a piece, it's good. I stick the, co I stick the cooked meat on it. Oh. Why are you vomiting? Are you alright? Stay silent. I don't want to call it creature or thing. Say something. I feel like I should have run away. Oh, you didn't choke to death after all. Hey, is everything okay? What happened? Rob Bether. What did you say? It's kind of cute. I don't know. I like it. Okay, the silence is eerie, but the creature seems to be willing to talk to me to a certain degree. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Be kind. This is really a nice place you have. A bit dark, but uh, nice? I guess. Aren't you cold? Do you want to come near the fire? Are you afraid of the fire? Okay, I won't ask. Have you been living here alone? Where are you from? That's not what I asked. Where are you from? Tell the truth. I don't remember. Something is wrong with my memory. The last thing I recall is waking up amidst the rubble. And you? Here. Here, this is your home. Nods. How long have you been here? Long. Soon it'll get dark and cold. 
I warm my hands with the flames. You're ugly. Wow, so out of the blue. Have you seen yourself? Oh wait, neither have I. <laughs> but not scary. I figured when I got the options, I was like, maybe I'm gonna make it laugh. Oh, but now it's scratching. What are you doing? Uh oh. Is he? Sharpening his spear? Sleep. I would rather not. Oh no, the creature is gone. You know what? I'll trust. I'll trust, okay? Because I feel like if I flee, I'm going to make things worse. So I'm just going to sleep. The dark came really fast, but there's no way I'm sleeping. He is probably waiting in the shadows for me to lure my guard, and then what? Kill me? Or eat me? I feel like the game wants me to think that because his stomach keeps gargling. Gargling. <laughs> Oops. I need to find him. Enter the cave. Better stay here. Stay. Yeah, it's the safest choice. No sense in risking adventuring inside that dark cave. Nervous laughing. I'll stay by the fire and be vigilant. If he tries anything, I can still defend myself with it. The fire. Did the voice change because I picked the woman? I grab one of those logs and start to wave it around blindly. Show yourself. You coward. What do you want from me? A woman is good. Very, very good. Get away from me. He's gone. What the? That's it? I need to find him. The coal is still hot. After blowing on them, the fire awaken once more. Your hands are shaking a little as you pick up a log from the bonfire. And then you enter the darkness. I feel tense, like a live wire. My insides are twisting. It's so dark. You won't scare me, you hear me? This ends now. I wanted to be friends with it. There's a passage. A lake? At least I know I won't die of thirst. If I don't die of something else. I look around, but the darkness is too thick. Seems like there's nothing here. I turn around, ready to enter the passage again, when suddenly... I see him. On the ground. Sleeping. Or pretending to. I barely hold back the urge to vomit. He is monstrous. It's the ugliest thing. The ugliest, most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. Carefully, ever so carefully, I take his spear. Not armed, I know what I must do. I look at him in the dark. He sleeps peacefully with a smile. Somewhat creepy, but he almost seems content. As ugly as this creature may be, he looks like a child. I hesitate. He stirs in his sleep. The light from the torch wakes him. He immediately widens his eyes and jumps back into the darkness. And the darkness hit him. Kissing. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm struggling here. He's patting on the ground frantically, searching for his spear. Don't even think about that. I have your weapon. I grip the spear tighter, my heart exploding in my chest. Now give me a good reason not to kill you. He launches at me. I brace for impact, but instead he runs past me into the tunnel. The tunnel leads me back to the bonfire. Wary, I scan my surroundings in search of him, ready to attack. I don't know what you were trying to do before, but I'm not scared of you, understand? Come out. Look, I know you want to eat me, but it doesn't have to be that way. We don't have to be enemies. If you promise you won't attack me again, I'm willing to forget about it and we can start over. We can help each other. As a sign of my good intentions, I let the spear fall to the ground. It's risky, but it's the only way. Stomach growls. Oh, what's your answer? 
I, my tummy aches. I've never eaten a woman before. So maybe if I eat you, my belly won't hurt anymore. You don't need to eat me to get better. On the contrary, it will get you even sicker. No, I tried everything else. I always puke. You're the only thing left to try. And that's why you're sick. You probably have some kind of indigestion or stomach virus. Eating random things won't cure you. You need medicine. For how long have you been feeling like this? What, am I a doctor now? A couple of days. Couldn't you find someone to help you? There's no one to ask. There's never been anyone here. Never. Until you. I was thinking of eating you, it's true. But I didn't try to, yet. That's fair. What? Don't lie, I clearly saw you. And you just said there's no one else here. No one, yes. Only them. Them. Nods. Those things. What things? They become your nightmares, your fears. I don't know how they do it, but they do. They can, they can even get in here if you're not careful. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that there are creatures here who enter your thoughts and materialize your fears? So it wasn't you who tried to kill me, and I'm just imagining it. Wherever there's white, they can show you scary things. Have you not noticed that? White? I scoff, incredulous, and the situation seems to be much more, too much absurd and discordant to me. Then why didn't you let me go outside and let them kill me if you were so afraid of me? I wanted to know you first. And now that you know me, what's the verdict? You seem nice. Hmm. You could have let me know instead of just being a jerk to me. I wasn't. Forcing me to follow you, not answering questions, telling me I smell nice. Is that rude? You said it like you wanted to cook me and eat me as dessert. I shouldn't probably give him ideas. <laughs> good call. But you do. I smell of sweat and dirt. That's good. Well, compared to him, I might as well smell like a flowery needle. But am I believing this? Yes. All right, then. What about that smile you gave me while sharpening your spear? My spear? I wasn't sharpening anything. He seems genuinely confused. Then what was that sound? He goes suddenly quiet. He seems hesitant, almost timid. He brings a closed fist to his chest. Then he looks at you, quickly lowering his gaze again. Something rose and stops short in front of you. What's this? It's some kind of wrapping. I pick it up. Inside there's a strange black stone. They are afraid of this color. If you paint your face and close with it, they'll leave you alone. Didn't you want me? Didn't you want to eat me? As if the answer to that question is almost too much for him, he leaves before you can say anything else. And leaves the spear behind. I'm left here alone. I examine the rock in my hand. It's some sort of charcoal that leaves a sticky black powder on my skin, turning it pitch black. I'm about to toss the wrapping aside when the last moment I realize that it's a paper folded in two. Opening it, I find something unexpected. A drawing. Sketched on it is a clear child fashion. Sketched on it in a clear child fashion are two figures holding hands. The creature and I. I look at the drawing in my hand, at the charcoal, and then outside. It's still dark, but soon the sun will rise. Stay with him. Excuse me. I step over the spear and go into the darkness. Oh, he's kind of sweet. See, I was right. I see him by a lake, crouched down with his feet dangling over the water, his arm around his belly, his back to me. Kid? He turns his eyes towards me. I extend my hand. He takes it. My memory is slowly starting to come back to me. I was a passenger on a ship flying towards a new home. We crashed and no one else seems to have survived except me. The little guy confirmed it. Apparently, he saw everything. He was investigating the wreckage when he found me. And now, I know I was lucky that he did. I tried asking him again where he comes from, 
or if we were on the same ship, but he can't answer me. He doesn't remember. The only thing I know is that he came here many, many years ago. I suspect he might have had been born here and has been living here ever since, alone. I still don't know what or who can... I still don't know what or who caused the crash or my temporary amnesia. I don't even know if someone will ever come to find me. Maybe. I hope. But until then, I don't want to live my days in fear outside the cave. And neither does he. Sure, he is creepy. So much creepy. That sometimes I wonder why I chose to stay. He had those teeth, for instance, and that rough, crackled black skin with those luminescent eyes that in the dark looked really scary. But when he took my hand lovingly like a child to a parent, I knew by the feeling in my heart that he did the right thing, that I did the right thing. He just needed someone to guide him, to protect him, to love him. And that someone was me. Are you sure? Aren't you scared? No, why should I? Because whatever those mysterious things are, we'll face them. Together. Ending five of nine, home, true ending. Oh my god, this was beautiful! I love my ending. I don't wanna I don't wanna get I don't wanna get another ending. I just don't. I The idea was actually to start badly so I could get all of the endings. But now I, I couldn't resist. I went down the nice path that I wanted to go down and and now I'm gonna feel awful if I'm rude to him and stuff. So, so yeah, so that's gonna have to be it. I, I don't wanna get another ending, I'm sorry, but the game is free. Uh, if you wanna see the other endings, please download it. Do consider uh, supporting the developers. That was adorable. Uh, if you can afford it, of course, there's nobody forcing your hand, um, but it's a great game. So if you do get any other endings, please let me know what they are. I'm really curious to, uh, to hear what they are. I just, I'm happy with my own ending. <laughs> so um, I'll play more of these small little games in the future. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if this is not the type of content you guys like, please uh, feel free to let me know and uh, I'll adjust. Have a good night.